I mean, I'm in good health, but I'm sterile. I'm like, what are you talking about I'm sterile? I got three kids. I don't make no damn sense to me. I don't understand I'm sterile. I don't know. It, it just, it blows my mind. You know, I got three kids. One's 15, one's 12, one's seven. So I'm like, I don't, I don't understand that. So anyway, I go home and I just start thinking. These, it's got to be my kids. Yeah. But I started thinking about the fact that every time we watch, uh, like, you know, like those Ancestry.com uh, commercials, they come on and my wife kind of always turns the channel. I'm like, why are you always turn it? I notice you always turn the channel. She's like, those, those are stupid. They don't even work. And I'm like, anyway, I started really thinking. I'm like, if I'm sterile, and, and the doctor said I've been I've always been sterile. It's like it's not like something that you know it's it's it always been since genetically since I was born. I, I started thinking I'm like man I, I'm I'm gonna have to go ahead and get these kids tested. You know I really didn't want to I wanted to to, to believe that my wife wouldn't do this to me but I have to get my kids tested. So I, I secretly get a little sample of all you know all of them. I go to the damn uh, what is it the, the, the ancestry.com thing place or whatever and anyway get them tested. Then I think about this. My, my wife got a birthday coming up. We got to throw this big birthday bash. We already even planned on it. So, you know, basically I got the whole birthday uh, bash planned. And then basically what happens is I get all of our families there, birthday bash. I get the, 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 the popular mixologist in town. Chief of police comes because he uh, works with my wife sometimes at our company. So chief police, um, this whole big thing, you know, because I want to make a big splash, a birthday, you see? So what ends up happening at a certain point, we bring the big birthday cake out. You know that old big birthday cake you see on the, on the movies? Got one of those big ones. And then I had a woman come out and on the, and she hold up the sign that said, you lying bee. And uh, it, it, it blew everyone's mind. It blew her mind. What, what is this about? What is this about? And I was like, you know what? You know what this is about? It's about the fact that this Messiah mixologist is his son. Hey, let meet your daddy right here. I straight up had to tell him, this is your dad. Chief police, hey, this is your... That was, so 15 year old mixologist, that's his daddy. Chief police, 12, uh, the, 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 uh, 12 year old, that's his daddy. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I was, I was hurt. I was hurt, I mean, I was so hurt. I just had to decide, I decided I just had to sleep in my car. I mean, I couldn't be in this house. I couldn't be around her, just all these lies. I mean, I've been raising these kids for 15 years. There's no way they're, they're mine. They're not, I'm still out. Like, so basically I just, you know, I'm, I'm in my car, sleeping in my car, going to work, doing my the normal thing I do. And uh, I just was, you know, running into different issues and felt the need that I needed to go. I just, I really needed to go back to church. You know, I just really wanted to, to do that. And I was getting some good, like the preacher and a lot of different people giving me some good uh, advice and some good guidance, kind of help, helping me to understand that, you know, it's not the kid's fault. You know, uh, you, you've been there for the kids, you know what I mean? And, you know, then I start finding out there's some problems. Uh, kids are having problems in school because their dad's not there. They used to having their dad for 15 years. I haven't been there, you know. Uh, so I start, I go, I start going back. You know, being there for my kids and everything like that or whatever. But I'm just, I have to let her know. I'm like, I, I just, I don't know if we can work this out. I don't know. I'm, I mean, possibly, but I'm here for my kids. I'm gonna try to be here for my kids because I feel like it's the right thing to do. It's, it's what God wants me to do, you know. And I think it's the best thing to do. So that's that's what I decided to do later on and find out because I, I didn't I have a seven-year-old I didn't know we didn't know who his dad was so basically after a certain amount of time with the ancestry.com like other people will get tested and everything like that or whatever and then I got a I got a, a, an alert from the email alert <laughs> and I'm like Re really so we kind of find out that it's this NBA Hall of Famers I'm like I was tripping. I'm like, this is this can't be the case. I go and ask her. I'm like, who's his dad? She's like, yes, that's his. I'm like, cause my my son. I mean, man, I mean, my son, he could ball. I mean, he could ball, and I ain't got no athletic skills, you know. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, the thing is, me and my wife are still trying to work things out. Um, I, I moved back in, back in, but I'm not in, in the same room. You know, luckily we have more multiple rooms. I'm there for my kids, even though they're not my kids, but they are my kids.